In recent years, economic and geopolitical tensions between China and the United States have intensified, resulting in the imposition of sanctions by the U.S. government to exert pressure on China's economy. However, a startling discovery has recently come to light, revealing a significant loophole that allows China to bypass or mitigate the effects of these sanctions. This video delves into this newfound revelation and explores its implications for the global economic landscape. To grasp the magnitude of this loophole, it is crucial to comprehend the nature and purpose of sanctions. Sanctions are a form of economic pressure imposed by one country or group of countries on another to bring about a desired change in behavior. The U.S. has long been using sanctions as a diplomatic tool, targeting countries like Iran, North Korea, and Russia, as well as specific entities or individuals associated with various illicit activities. The escalating tensions between the U.S. and China have resulted in an increasing number of sanctions being imposed by both countries. The U.S. has targeted Chinese companies and individuals for alleged human rights abuses, intellectual property theft, and unfair trade practices. China, in turn, has responded with retaliatory measures. This tit-for-tat has created an atmosphere of economic warfare between the two global powers. Recent investigations by international experts and financial analysts have uncovered a substantial loophole that China has been utilizing to bypass or mitigate the effects of U.S. sanctions. This discovery has sent shockwaves through the global community and has raised concerns about the efficacy of international sanctions regimes. The loophole primarily revolves around China's extensive network of financial institutions and offshore entities. By leveraging these structures, Chinese entities can facilitate financial transactions with sanctioned individuals or entities indirectly. These offshore networks provide a veil of anonymity, making it difficult for sanctions enforcement agencies to trace the ultimate beneficiaries of the transactions. China's extensive network of currency swap agreements with other countries further contributes to the loophole. These agreements enable China to conduct transactions using currencies other than the U.S. dollar, reducing its reliance on the U.S.-dominated global financial system. By circumventing the U.S. dollar, China can diminish the impact of U.S. sanctions on its economy. China's technological prowess plays a significant role in its ability to exploit this loophole. The development of decentralized financial systems, digital currencies, and blockchain technology enables China to create alternative channels for financial transactions, thereby evading the scrutiny of traditional banking systems. The discovery of this massive loophole has raised concerns among policymakers and international financial institutions. The effectiveness of sanctions as a diplomatic tool is called into question, as China's ability to bypass or mitigate their impact undermines their intended purpose. This revelation has prompted calls for stricter regulations, enhanced transparency, and international cooperation to address these loopholes and ensure the efficacy of sanctions regimes. As the rivalry between China and the U.S. intensifies, it is likely that this loophole will continue to be exploited, leading to a re-evaluation of global financial systems and the effectiveness of sanctions. Governments and international organizations will need to adapt and develop new mechanisms to tackle this challenge effectively. The revelation of this significant loophole presents a challenge that demands immediate attention from governments, international organizations, and financial institutions. The exploitation of this loophole by China necessitates a reassessment of global financial systems and the effectiveness of sanctions as a diplomatic tool. To address this issue, policymakers must focus on several key areas. First, stricter regulations and enhanced transparency are required to close the existing gaps that enable such circumvention of sanctions. Countries and international bodies need to collaborate to establish robust frameworks that ensure compliance with sanctions and prevent illicit financial activities. Furthermore, international cooperation is crucial in tackling this challenge effectively. Countries must share intelligence and information related to sanctions violations, facilitating swift and coordinated actions against those exploiting the loophole. Improved collaboration between financial intelligence units and regulatory bodies will enhance the tracking and identification of illicit transactions. Technology can also play a vital role in addressing this loophole. 
governments and financial institutions should invest in advanced monitoring systems, artificial intelligence, and data analytics to detect and prevent illicit financial activities. Blockchain technology, while currently exploited by China, can be utilized by international organizations to enhance transparency and traceability of financial transactions. Moreover, it is imperative to engage China in meaningful discussions and negotiations regarding sanctions. Diplomatic efforts should focus on establishing common ground and promoting adherence to international norms and regulations. Constructive dialogue can help address the underlying issues that lead to the exploitation of loopholes and find mutually beneficial solutions. The implications of this loophole extend beyond the US-China relationship. Other countries facing sanctions may also attempt to emulate China's tactics or discover their own unique methods to bypass restrictions. The international community must remain vigilant and continuously adapt to evolving strategies employed by sanctioned nations. In the broader context, this discovery challenges the dominance of the US dollar as the global reserve currency. China's efforts to establish alternative channels and reduce reliance on the US-dominated financial system could result in a shift in global economic dynamics. It may lead to increased diversification of reserve currencies and a re-evaluation of the international monetary order. However, it is important to note that the discovery of this loophole does not diminish the importance of sanctions as a diplomatic tool. Sanctions remain a critical instrument for promoting accountability, human rights, and international security. Efforts should be focused on closing loopholes and improving the effectiveness of sanctions, rather than abandoning their use altogether. The exploitation of this massive loophole by China to bypass or mitigate the effects of US sanctions has far-reaching geopolitical implications. It not only impacts the bilateral relationship between the US and China, but also disrupts the global balance of power and challenges the existing international order. China's ability to bypass US sanctions undermines the effectiveness of US foreign policy tools and diminishes the leverage that the US has traditionally exerted over other countries. This can result in a loss of confidence in the efficacy of US sanctions potentially emboldening other nations to seek alternative ways to evade or mitigate the impact of sanctions imposed upon them. The loophole also enhances China's economic influence and strengthens its position in global affairs. As China finds ways to continue economic transactions with sanctioned entities, it can foster closer economic ties with other nations that may feel compelled to align themselves with China to bypass US sanctions. This can lead to a shift in global economic alliances and power dynamics, potentially challenging the US-led global order. Furthermore, the discovery of this loophole highlights the increasing technological capabilities of China. By leveraging advanced financial systems, digital currencies, and blockchain technology, China is demonstrating its ability to innovate and adapt to overcome economic barriers imposed by the US. This underscores the importance of technological advancements in shaping future geopolitical dynamics and presents a challenge to the technological dominance historically enjoyed by the US. The exploitation of this loophole also raises concerns about the enforcement and effectiveness of international sanctions regimes. It exposes vulnerabilities in the existing framework and underscores the need for greater international cooperation and coordination to address these challenges. The discovery prompts a re-evaluation of current sanctions policies and mechanisms, with a focus on enhancing cooperation between countries, improving intelligence sharing, and strengthening enforcement measures. Additionally, the revelation of this loophole may impact the perception of China's compliance with international norms and regulations. It raises questions about China's commitment to upholding the principles of responsible global governance and adherence to international sanctions regimes. This can lead to increased scrutiny and skepticism from the international community, potentially straining China's diplomatic relationships and reputation. To mitigate the geopolitical implications of this loophole, it is crucial for the US and other affected countries to reassess their sanctions policies and strategies. This includes enhancing efforts to close existing loopholes, strengthening alliances with like-minded countries, and diversifying economic dependencies to reduce vulnerability to sanctions evasion. 
Moreover, the international community needs to work collectively to develop stronger mechanisms for enforcing sanctions and address emerging challenges posed by advancements in technology. Cooperation between governments, financial institutions, 